This is the Speakeasy Murder Bar Landmark Bundle. The goal of this build was to create an interesting interior. So it's one large uh, shell of a building that's then broken up, uh, primarily using our freestanding walls and curtains to make a really interesting place you could have an encounter and uh, the sort of tavern that you might uh, have in your actual adventure. We also have a bunch of leftover pieces. Uh, so there's still tons of building options you could swap in and out of here. In fact, we'll probably swap one or two of these pieces out in the build as we walk through it. So let's go take a look. So the entrance to our illicit tavern here is uh, on this diagonal here. This is our large diagonal wooden wall and it has a speakeasy door in it. And look how big, beefy this piece is. Uh, the speakeasy door has such great detail. It's super uh, secured from the inside, hard to break in. And the large diagonal has this built-in shelves on the inside. You can keep your D&D books in there or not. Uh, but it gives it a nice uh, nice character coming in on the uh, on the diagonal. Uh, on the front, we have a pair of the uh, corner steps to get you up into this store. Now, once we're inside, we've got a pretty nice big common room here. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, tables and chairs. These tables are nice one inch by one inch. And the, uh, the chairs are actually, they're barrels, right? They're barrels that have been cut into stools, sort of thing you might find down by the dock. You kind of just haphazardly put together. Uh, it gives them a lot of character. Uh, we've over in this corner, we've taken the same uh, two corner stairs that we're using up front and have them here as a little tiny stage. You could have uh, some sort of entertainer, a bard or an illusionist or a singer or something could hang out over there. Over here, as is mandatory in any good tavern, we have the bar uh, and it's got two sections. So there's the straight which has uh, a whole bunch of fun bits on the inside, uh, as well as the outside is, these are actually has little hinges, so you could use it as a cabinetry or something. You could put it in your kitchen or in your workshop and use it as a cabinet or flip it around and put it against your wall and use it uh, in a kitchen or a storeroom or whatnot. Or in this case, you can use it as a bar. Uh, it's also the same height as our existing uh, tavern accessories, although a different paint scheme but you could uh, paint them up to match each other if you wanted to expand on your bar collection. And then in the same pair, we have the uh, corner. So this is two inch footprint, a nice 90 degree corner. And it's got a whole bunch of those details on the inside, including a little built in uh, keg there for the good stuff. Uh, and these are both the same height, so you can build them together in a bunch of different ways. The floor of all this is, it's all four by four floors with the uh, one by two insert popped in there, um, except for this, obviously this large diagonal here. Uh, let's work our way through some of these little rooms, right? So you need lots of little side rooms with the, uh, the sheeny dealings to go on. You can have private meetings or you try and do eavesdropping or whatnot. So in this case, we've made a room just using the freestanding walls and then the freestanding curtain. And the curtain is the exact same height as the walls, so you can interchange them. This one is painted to look like a burlap or a canvas. Great classic low town feel. And it's really easy to move these uh, for combat if you want to get minis in and out or whatnot or break them down. Uh, also because it's two inches wide, it fits perfectly in a dungeon corridor uh, because you want to put curtains all over the place. Uh, also in this room beside the table, we've got one of our window walls here. Uh, this one has both the, uh, the new rustic shutters on the outside and then it has one of our window pane inserts. This is the warm lattice and just how beautiful and there's some light coming through there. It gives a ton of character to your window. You can swap those out for, uh, it comes with a pack of several so you can change the look of your window. Moving on over here, we're gonna uh, come to this little back room. So we have like a, this is like a little sort of closet area. This piece, another freestanding uh, wall piece in our wooden freestanding walls. This is a uh, 90 degree corner. It's a two by two, but it's got it on a diagonal. It has a little door here. This isn't doesn't have the hinge built in yet, but it will have the working um, hinge. The door will be able to open and close. And this piece is really fun to use. It's a great way to just quickly make a little closet or supply you know supply area or something. In this case, I threw an extra one inch wall there to make it a little bigger, but it uh, makes a neat little back room where we have the hoist is back there for some reason. Maybe they're uh, up to no good with that, or maybe they're using it the hoist for a heist, who knows. Uh, but and then there's a door going into this back room here. And we have just the regular old um, rustic door here. 
Uh, but perhaps, you know, because if this is like supposed to be a speakeasy and there's secret things going on, what we could do if we wanted, we could pop this out and let's slide in this nondescript solid looking wall. There we could pop that in instead. And the happy little surprise this holds is it's a removable panel that's our secret door wall. All right, so maybe there's a, uh, you have to know, secret knock. You knock on it three times and then someone inside will open up and this is the, the secret meeting room or uh, where they keep the treasure or who knows what. Uh, but really fun to use the uh, the secret door wall, good reveal on the table. And you can also just use it as a solid wall if you want. But let's pop that out, we'll put the door back in. Uh, in this room itself, we're using the uh, the same uh, bar counter at the corner. This time it looks like a storage area. Maybe this is their secret potions or their apothecary or someone brewing uh, the poison. Maybe it's the Poisoner's Guild in the back here. Uh, and then we have, to tie the room together, we have uh, this rustic rug. Uh, this is going to be, the real one will be printed on felt, so it'll be fabric. It'll have a real rug feel and it really will tie any room together. Very little warm rug. Uh, in this case, maybe it's soaking up any any poisons that fall on the floor or soak up so they don't drip through into the uh, basement and kill the prisoners. Um, then uh, rounding out this room or diagonaling out this room, we have the diagonal walls. So this is the small diagonal wall. It takes our narrow wall inserts. In this case, it's the window wall. And this has the same warm uh, lattice window pane inserts so it, uh, it will match the uh, large one. And the other one has our door wall in it. So this is the narrow door wall, which will have a hinged door. It's not quite hinged yet. It's just held in a white stick. So this can be like a secret back entrance. Or you could just you could swap it out for the uh, a window wall instead and just have this have windows or make it solid. Any of our narrow walls fit in there. So working our way through the rest of this tavern, we've got a little nook over here, broken off using the, uh, the freestanding curtain again. Really, the freestanding curtain, you can just pop anywhere. That with the freestanding walls just really breaks up any room very easily, very quickly. Uh, another a side door over here, just a regular rustic door. And then here's a um, another little back room. This one has a bed. This is our tavern bed. A little unkempt bed. Uh, and really wonderfully sort of drab and bland. We wanted it to be kind of the uh, the bed you could just put anywhere. Right, it could go in your dungeon, in your cottage, in your castle, uh, or of course in your tavern. Maybe in this case, this is uh, where the in-house assassin lives when they're not uh, po brewing poisons or whatnot. Um, and working our way around, another little, uh, another little room. Once again, broken off using the curtain and the freestanding wall. And then our final back room here, we have another bed uh, and a back door, and the speakeasy door going out the back. This is probably where the uh, the bartender lives. The barkeep stays here uh, and has a secret <laughs> escape door out the back. Uh, you got our ramshackle wall inside. This has been repaired. It shows the uh, the tavern's been beaten up a little bit, seen some wear and tear. Um, and this room this room is made just using our city, bu city builder walls, uh, as is this room over in the corner. Uh, the rest of them are made using the freestanding walls and curtains. It shows you can do a hybrid approach, right? There's a lot of different ways you can kind of break up the space and make interesting rooms and encounters. And last but not least, over here we have Sally the Fireplace. So this one is not yet wired up. It's our first prototype, but it's going to have a flickering fire LED in the fire. There will be a switch and a CR2032 battery baked in, self-contained battery. You turn it on, boom, you get flickering fire. Uh, and this thing will just look fantastic in any room, be it a castle, a dungeon, a cavern, or of course, any uh, building you would build in the city or elsewhere. And best of all is if this thing didn't have enough details, the shelf is magnetic. The mantle shelf will be magnetic. So you'll be able to put anything else on here, any of our other magnetic accessories. And you'll be able to use this on any of our magnetic walls as a uh, shelf if you want to decorate up a magnetic wall. So lots and lots of accessories in here that you can use to decorate anything and lots of ways to break up the space uh, and use it for a variety of encounters. You could obviously build a tavern, an inn, a bar, a nightclub, some sort of secret meeting spot. Uh, you could turn it into a homestead or very easily turn it into a shop, use these as um, goods, counters, and the like. So hopefully this inspires you of some of the things you can build with this landmark. Mm -hmm.